Hi, this is Rob from SeeHowToDoIt.com. Before we start the video, we'd like to ask you to please like, subscribe, and share on social media, and visit us at SeeHowToDoIt.com. Today, we're going to show you how to install this Brondel Bode. The steps will be very similar to install any Bode. So let's get started. First, we're going to begin by turning off the water supply over here. So we'll go ahead and turn that off here. Then we're going to go ahead and flush the toilet. We're going to go ahead and hold this down until we hear all the water come out. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and loosen this fitting over here. You might want to put a towel underneath because a little bit of water might drip. And to save time in the video, I'm not going to show the simple stuff of how to remove the hose. This, you're going to just turn this counterclockwise and this will come off. As you can see, we have it off. Then the next step is we're going to remove the toilet seat. We're going to go ahead and lift up on this. Yours might be a little bit different. In this, you're going to take a flat blade screwdriver and turn these counterclockwise. And there will be a nut on the underneath side. So you'll go ahead and hold back the nut and turn these counterclockwise. And this will remove our toilet seat. All right, here's everything that our Bode toilet seat comes with. One of the key features that I like that it comes with is the water supply line is also braided. I've seen some other ones that this does not come braided, which you definitely want to be very careful of that because if you have any leaks or if any of the water lines explode, you're going to have a flood in your house. So this was a definite key feature that this is braided. So let's start installing it. One thing we are going to do, we're going to go ahead and Teflon all of our fittings. Right over here, we're going to put about two rounds of Teflon on here, and then we're going to go ahead and install our T. The Teflon will definitely help prevent some leaks. Okay, as you can see, we went ahead and put on about two rounds of Teflon. Now we're going to go ahead and install our T, and you're going to want this facing this way, so we'll go ahead and thread in our T right here. Before putting in our T, you want to make sure that the O-ring is inside here and firmly seated. All right, we've went ahead and installed our T. Now we'll go ahead and reconnect our water supply line back over here. And none of this you want to over tighten because it is plastic and you will break it. Okay, we've went ahead and reconnected our supply line. Now we're ready for the next step. When installing the mounting bracket, you're going to want this facing up because the toilet is going to slide in right over here. And as you can see, it'll actually slide in right here. And there also is a release. So if you did have to take the toilet seat off, you'll push in the side right over here. And you'll see that it will move these clips back and forth and then you can slide the toilet seat back out. Okay, we'll go ahead and put the mounting bracket on the toilet and we'll put these in just like you see them right over here. Go ahead and slide it in. And then the nuts, you wanna come in from the bottom with this end facing up over here and you'll put them on somewhat loose so we can still adjust this plate. Once you have the nuts on the bottom, I found on this one, you're gonna want this all the way forward as you can see right over here. And if it's still loose, you could be able to move it back and forth. But I found with the toilet seat, it's best to be all the way forward. So we can go ahead and hand tighten these down on the underneath as tight as you can get it by hand. Now that we have our bracket tightened down here, we're ready to slip in the seat right in over here and then it will clip in. As you can see, the toilet's sitting nice and flush over here. And when we close our lid over here, you can see it's sitting good over here too. So our mounting bracket is good. If yours was a little bit off, you're going to have to go ahead and take off the seat again and adjust that bracket so it's sitting good in the front over here. So now we're ready to connect our water supply line. We went ahead and Teflon our fitting over here, another two rounds there, and we're gonna go ahead and connect our supply line. And on this, you're gonna wanna use the curved supply line. Let's get this out of the camera, right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this, put this on and tighten it down and don't over tighten it because this is just plastic. Okay, we've went ahead and tightened it down. As you can see, we have this straight up and down over here. So now we're ready for the next step. We're gonna go ahead and attach our supply line right over here and tighten that down. 
Okay, we've went ahead and tightened down our supply line. We also did Teflon that. And as we tighten it down, we kept the bend inward so the hose would stay inward here. So we'll go ahead and open up our supply line. As you can hear, it's filling up. So we'll go ahead and let it fill up and make sure we don't have any leaks. Okay, we've went ahead and tested all of our fittings. We don't have any leaks. Everything's looking really good. So now it's ready to use. We'll show you that it does work. This is the adjustment on the side over here. So you could turn this and then you'll see right over here the water will squirt down and then turn it further it'll start shooting up. You can see that there. And that's how it works. So it's pretty much as simple as that. Like I said, the key features are you want to make sure your supply line is braided. I've seen some of the other ones just come with some regular hose and I would be afraid that over the long run it might burst. Make sure your hoses are held away so you know nothing gets pulled on it. You don't break any of these. And uh, it's a pretty simple task. Once again, we'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share on social media. And visit us at seehowtodo.com. Thank you.